Hey, welcome back. We sure didn't see profiles and courage in the New Hampshire House last week when it came to dealing with the bill that would expand criminal background checks at gun shows, flea markets, and on the internet in order to purchase a gun. Right now, at a firearm, a licensed federal gun dealer, you have a criminal background check. But as many as 40% of guns, some estimate as many as 30,000 a year, are purchased in these uh, private commercial sales and private sales where background checks aren't required. The lack of profiles and courage we saw in the House, where several votes were taken by what we call division vote. Translation, private vote. It's not a roll call vote. It's not a recorded vote. No one knows exactly how everyone votes when there is a division vote. We only know the outcome. Why is that important? Well, we saw last week in the House that 174 members of the House voted to amend this bill and bring it ready to be passed. That was a recorded vote. But then when it came time to vote on whether to kill the bill outright, we had a division vote, and only 118 voted not to kill this bill. So as many as 60 members of the House, most of them Democrats, I would submit, didn't want to be recorded as voting to kill this bill. Wanted to be able to be recorded as wanting to mend this bill so they could tell their friends that support gun control, I was for you. And they wouldn't have to tell those friends who support gun control that on an unrecorded vote, I voted to kill the bill. How do I know it was Democrats? Well, all but one Republican wanted to table this bill. All but one a recorded vote. All but one Republican wanted to get rid of this bill. So it was clear this lack of profile and courage rests in the Democratic caucus, in some segments, not all. Uh, and I never think it's good for democracy when we have unrecorded votes.